Where's my collat? Shut your ass up. Yo, Brahma bull, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut your bitch ass up and get out of our business, hoe ass nigga. Hoe ass nigga, shut your bitch ass up. Pop, fuck your mama. Yo, you really gonna fuck my mama, bro? Yo, um, I kind of want to stay just because of the reactions. Fuck, I hate this map, dog. Same. Especially domination. I'm making a big mistake playing this. I'm gonna see if I can get some, uh, enemy game chat reactions. Ooh, we can. Damn, they rock you in the inbound. Come on, G, why up? Oh, he caught. Yo, what's my special thing? Wow, that's a crazy spawn trap, by the way. I literally just found a spawn trap, chat. You guys just saw it. Domination, crazy spawn trap. Didn't flip even though I was that deep into it. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. Look, GMAC, you're in it right now. Just don't push all the way back. You got that. Left, right. Oh. I'm in. I can't no scope. Crazy spawn trap back there, dude. If only we can hear in-game game chat, dude. I can head glitch too, buddy. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. The absolutely amount of ridiculous flinch you get. It's unbelievable. Oh my gosh, that was clean. Even if it was split, that was still clean. Wait, you guys crashed? Or everybody crashed? Or not everybody, but... Huh! No skill! Where's my collat? I'm nasty! I'm nasty! Oh yeah, this was it. Oh my god! Fuck, bro? <laughs> to be there. How is that not at least a triple? Anyways, I can prestige. Prestige four incoming. Oh yeah. Almost halfway there. Time to play BO6. I was dying, bro. It is just so funny. I think it's just because the game. Hang on. Oh my gosh, get shit on. <laughs> get, get shit on. Thirty eighty. to Woo! What was 
is that? All right, yo, so what is going on, guys? So today is finally the day that I am going to show you guys my settings here on Black Ops 6. Now, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section have been asking, what's my sensitivity? What's my graphic settings? What type of settings do I use on this game that is making me perform better? Or not even that, you guys just might be curious to what I use because you guys want to try it out and see if it benefits your guys' play style. Or you might just be putting your foot in the door and just trying to see and get a good grasp of what the best settings are to use in this game. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. So yes, I do play on controller. I don't have any type of keyboard and mouse settings in this video. I don't play keyboard or mouse, so I don't know what the best settings are for that. So to start off for the button layout, I do use tactical and then moving down to the sensitivity. Yes, I do play on a 20 horizontal and a 20 vertical. This is the max sensitivity in the game. Whether I'm sniping, whether I'm using an assault rifle, SMG, it doesn't matter. Max sensitivity is where it's at for me. Personally, I've always been a max sensitivity player. That's just something that I enjoy. I enjoy being super quick. My muscle memory is super good with it. If you guys do want to try out max sensitivity for yourself, you got to give it some time, especially if you're not used to playing on the higher sensitivities in the game. And just to scroll down on my settings here, I do not play with controller vibration. And then here are my dead zone inputs. So for my left stick min, I have three. For my left stick max is 99. Right stick min is five. And right stick max is 99. And then my left trigger and right trigger are both on zero. So I'm going to quickly explain on how I see dead zone. So with dead zone on your minimum, you want to have these things on zero. Because if you do increase these... This adds more delay to your analog stick, basically making it less responsive. So if you have it on zero, it's the most responsive it could possibly be. But in a case like this for me, I do with my controller, I do have a little bit of stick drift. So with stick drift, in order to counter that, you want to increase the stick that you have stick drift on until it stops, basically. So for my right stick, for example, it's on five because at five dead zone, that is where my stick drift doesn't really kick in and I don't notice it. If I were to put this on zero and my stick is super responsive, it'll automatically just start moving on its own. So it at five stops that, basically. And then it's the same for my left stick. My guy, like, moves on his own whenever it's at zero so i have it on three and it actually stops that so yeah that's just my thoughts on dead zone and how it works going over to the aiming tab my sensitivity multiplier settings i have my ads sensitivity multiplier on 1.10 so this is the only thing that i've been changing around here and there i think 1.10 is just that perfect middle ground to where it's not too slow, but it's not too fast. The default is on one, but I feel like that 1.10 just kind of gives me a little bit of a speed boost when it comes to like drag scoping people and trying to keep up with enemies when they're sliding across my screen and stuff like that. Going down to the aiming advanced settings, I have my ADS sensitivity transition timing on after zoom. I have my aim response curve type on dynamic. So just to quickly explain this setting real quick and why I have it on after zoom, this basically controls this setting right here. So your ADS sensitivity multiplier or whatever that's on if you go to your aiming advanced settings this is going to make it to where that sensitivity multiplier only is applied when you're fully zoomed in this in my opinion just makes it feel a little bit more consistent especially when it comes to sniping i feel like just having it on instant or gradual kind of throws me off give it a shot if you haven't tried it you might like it a little bit better and then of course i use the dynamic response curve type because i've been using this for a few years now and i think it feels super super nice and i fell in love with it so they have it on this game so of course i wanted to use it going over to the movement tab i do play with tactical sprint assist uh if you click show more you got to put this sprint assist delay on zero if it's not already on i like using auto attack sprint in this game that's just what i like so i also ended up changing this setting to my slide slash dive behavior is on hybrid so basically instead of just diving in random directions when i'm trying to slide because i was doing that by accident so many times during the beta i put this on hybrid so now i actually have to click down on my left analog stick and then click down on my right stick in order to dive in a certain direction just prevents the accidental diving and you know the accidental inputs that i don't actually want to do during gunfights so yeah and then here are the rest of my movement settings here here is the combat settings. I don't think I touched anything in here at all. So these are just all the default. Okay, so time for the graphic settings. So I'm just going to sit here and scroll down and just show you guys what I have. This is obviously a section more or so for the PC players that watch my videos. Uh, I just have most stuff on low or very low. My texture resolution and stuff is on normal because I don't want the game to look like absolute trash. So there's that. <laughs> for the view tab, my FOV is on 120. I do play on the max FOV 
ADS field of view on affected, and then of course the motion blur off, off, have the camera movement on the least. Last but not least, these are my gameplay HUD settings. If you guys want to see, uh, I just have my mini map shape on square instead of round. I just think that was a little bit better. So down here, you can also change your crosshair settings if you want. You can actually make the uh, dot larger or even not the largest. I think the largest is a little too big. I also changed my crosshair color in this game. You can customize the color, which I think is super dope. I have it like a light blue right now because blue is my favorite color. I might change it back to white. I'm not too sure, but if you guys want to mess with this, you guys can. And then that's it. So those are my settings. If I'm missing anything and you guys need to know anything specifically, just leave it down in the comment section. I'll make sure to reply to you guys just in case I missed anything. But yeah, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys are brand new. And I will see you guys on my next one. Deuces.